My name is Jacob Diaz. I work for the Laredo DARS office. I am the receptionist here. I've been here two and a half years and I enjoy what I do. He actually is the first one to work every day. He has a passion for helping people and he's just has such high work ethics. Good morning, Dars. I'm up you. One second, please. Mask is speaking. He's the first person that people see when they walk in through the door. See, Ruby's hit. He gets yeah. the consumers to sign in. He completes a log sheet that lists when the people got here, were uh, assisted, were seen by our staff. Good morning, Dars. I'm up you. He then has the task of, okay, who's the counselor that I need to contact? So he directs all our consumers to the appropriate staff. What I like about Jacob is, you know, he always has a, a smile in his face. It's like when we come in, when we start the day, so it's like, you know, it makes, you know, uh, our job easier. How was it yesterday? You ever print it right now? I just printed it up. It's like if we need help with, you know, copies or, you know, getting something from the fax machine, it's like, you know, those are things that, you know, help out a lot. Anything that they need help with, I try to do the best I can to help them the way I know how. ¿Y qué es su nombre otra vez? I was a consumer before, so I know how to relate to each and every one of them that walked through this door. Buenos días. Great benefit of Jacob is that he's bilingual. And that is one of the things that's required to be able to be our receptionist here at our DARS office, because the primary language in Laredo is Spanish. Ya la atendieron, sir? Okay. I'll be right with you, sir. A lot of our consumers are just Spanish speakers, so that pretty much, you know, is a great help that he's bilingual. And also a little bit trilingual, he's learning sign language as well. Uh, having Jacob as one of our employees here has helped our mission to uh, continue to move forward by looking into more ways that we can employ people in jobs that require a little bit more skills and that pay better. And, and it was breaking new ground for uh, Equip Enterprises to have him in this position because it is a little bit higher technical position um, and he's done tremendously. The future for Equip Enterprises and for our employees and future employees is that we want to be able to find other types of jobs that can provide them uh, much high, higher paying uh, opportunities and much better benefits but more than anything, the skills that they'll be able to learn, and specifically in this world that continues to change uh, when it comes to automation, uh, we want to be able to stay up there with the uh, for-profit companies to know that our mission uh, will be able to have people with disabilities compete with those kind of jobs and be able to uh, show that just because you have a disability doesn't mean you can't do those kind of jobs. Yes, ma'am. My son is a survivor. He's gone through a lot of hurdles in his life. He was born a preemie. He was a 26-weeker. He weighed one pound, eight ounces, and he was 14 inches. And then he was diagnosed with cerebral palsy. And they had told me, like, the chance of him surviving were very minimal. Because of the cerebral palsy, I guess there was a lot of obstacles that he had to overcome. And he proved them wrong. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. He's 29 years old. And I don't have to worry about him anymore. He has a job, and he's good at it. This job is, it's a blessing for me. I coach my brother's basketball team on the weekends because uh, I, I love what I do. Good morning, Cody. And uh, it fulfills me, and also it helps these kids, um, teaching the kids what I know. Not only about basketball, but about life. Um, so that's very important to me, um, that I'm helping these kids. My family has been important because my family is my backbone. They're the ones that support me. If without my family, I wouldn't be here today. Can you also feel this off of me? By just being there and helping other people, I guess that's what makes me proud of him because his um, disability doesn't hold him back to do anything. He taught me to remove the DIS from disability, and he proved that he was able, that he had the ability to get the job done and then carry out his duties as a receptionist. What I've been told is he, he makes the uh, workplace such a happy place and, and uh, everybody's so happy to be around him. Thank you, Ed. Thank you.